Hello, future engineers and my dear students. Welcome back to Mudasi Academy. I am Mudasi Sheikh. So till now, we are in the first module of the VT Engineering Maths syllabus, and we are already done with some derivations, uh, the problem based on angle between the radius and tangent vector, and we have solved problem based on the orthogonality of the curves and also the angle of intersection of two polar curves. At the last video, we are done problem based on pedal equations. If you haven't watched this video, then please find a link in the description below or from a playlist. And as I told you earlier also, if you practice what I do in these videos correctly and perfectly, it is more than enough. It is what you do with me is more than enough to excel in examinations. Okay. But if you want to grow with me and excel in the studies, then you need to subscribe. So please hit the subscribe button now and let's get going. In today's video, we are going to start with a new chapter that is radius of curvature. So what actually is radius of curvature? As the name suggests, curve. See, radius of curvature is a measure of how sharply a curve bends at a particular point P. A smaller radius of curvature means a sharper bend while a large radius of curvature means a more granular bend. Okay, now if you see this figure, let A be a fixed point on the Cartesian curve y of f(x). So I, I have a Cartesian curve here, and I have taken A as a fixed point on it, and I have taken one more point P, that is P be a point in the curve. Now the length of this arc, see this arc length AP is nothing but yes. I denote it like this. Arc length AP is good x, and let psi be the angle made by the tangent at P with the x-axis. Okay, now the amount of bending of the curve at P is called curvature. It is the amount of bending at this point P is called as what? Curvature. So curvature is nothing but K is equal to D psi by DS. That is change in the angle made by the tangent at P with x-axis with respect to the arc length. Yes. Okay, that is called curvature. Therefore, the radius of curvature So radius of curvature rho is equal to 1 by k, that is 1 by d psi by ds, that is nothing but ds by d psi. That means the radius of curvature is defined as rho is equal to 1 by k ds by d psi. That's it. So we have defined the radius of curvature here. So now, let us derive an expression for the radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. Okay, now if you see from the figure here, let A be a fixed point on the Cartesian curve y is equal to f of x. So this is my Cartesian curve, y is equal to f of x. Fine. Now, here A is a fixed point on this curve and P is a point on the curve. That means, the distance between this fixed point and point P is that is distance of the arc, this arc length AP is equal to S. And let's side with the angle made with the tangent with the x-axis. Okay, now to derive, we will, we already know that tan psi is equal to dy by dx. Now, we will differentiate this with respect to the arc length S. Okay, because by definition of radius of curvature, rho is nothing but ds by d psi. That is, if you differentiate with respect to s, yes. fine. If you differentiate with respect to x, we get d by ds of tan of psi is equal to d by ds of dy by ds. Now, what is the differentiation of tan psi? Differentiation tan x, x is secant square x. Right? So differentiation of tan psi will be secant square psi. Since we are doing the differentiation with respect to s, again, the chain rule will be d psi by ds is equal to. Now see, to derive a proper expression for radius of curvature, what we will do is, we will rewrite this. That is d by ds of dy by dx as, we will rewrite this as, nothing but d by, see, what we'll do, we'll rewrite this as d by dx of dy by dx into dx by 
DS. Fine. Now the reason for writing like this, see a DS, DS will cancel, it will be same as it is. But the reason for writing this is, there are three expressions which you need to remember. The first is sine psi is equal to, the first expression will be sine psi is equal to dy by ds and the next is cos psi is equal to dx by ds and as you already know the third one is tan psi is equal to dy by dx now here we have secant square psi into so by the definition of a radius of curvature, radius of curvature is nothing but rho is equal to ds by d psi. Therefore, d psi by ds will be 1 by rho, where rho is the radius of curvature. This will be d by dx of dy by dx into. So, what is dx by ds here? Nothing but cos of psi. So, it is cos of psi. Now, what I will do, I take this cos this side. What is 1 by cos? 1 by cos is secant. When I take this, this side, 1 by cos and secant goes up to become secant cube psi into 1 by rho is equal to d square y by dx square. Therefore, from here we can write implies rho is equal to so secant cube psi into 1 by rho is equal to d square y by dx square. So what will be your secant cube psi? Secant cube psi will be nothing but rho into what? Tell me. Secant cube psi will be nothing but uh, sorry rho uh, because I need to derive an expression for rho. So rho will be nothing but secant cube psi divided by d square y by dx square. Now we have the relation secant square psi is equal to 1 plus tan square psi. Therefore, and what is tan psi? dy by dx. So, we will derive the expression for radius of curvature in the form of dy by dx and d square by dx square. What we will do? We will write secant square psi as secant, secant cube psi as secant square psi raised to 3 by 2 because what happens here? 2, 2 cancels and it remains as it is and upon d square y by dx square. But as we know, secant square psi is 1 plus tan square psi. So we can write rho is equal to 1 plus tan square psi raised to 3 by 2 upon d square y by dx square. That implies the relation for radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve is nothing but what is tan psi? Tan psi is dy by dx. So dy by dx the whole square raised to 3 by 2 upon d square y by dx square. That is, this is the expression for radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. That's it. In today's video, we discussed what is radius of curvature and we also derived an expression for radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. That is, rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx, the whole square is to 3 by 2 upon d square y by dx square. I hope you understood the derivation clearly. If any doubts, please post in the comment below. In the next video, I will be solving the problems relating to finding radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. Till then, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, like it, share with your friends as much as possible. See you in the next video. Till then, do the engineering, do the hard work. Bye.